John Wick, excommunicado. Three, two, one. When we were finishing chapter two, I was like, okay, the park, John is running for his life. Let's get John on a horse. Chad was like, yes. What better to be the modern day cowboy than a guy in a three piece suit shooting guys on a horse? And it was not only what we wanted to see, but then also we got to respond to reactions from the audience of what they might be interested in. And it turned out that those aligned. We've always talked about our influences, both Keanu and myself, from spaghetti westerns to samurai films to some of the great Asian action films. All of these gifts, all of these gifts. The earliest thing I had in my notebook is going to an old gun shop and assembling a great gun out of a lot of different pieces. It's our way of letting the audience know that we're having fun with you, we're not taking ourselves too seriously, and it's a little kickback to films we love. There's a lot more action, more sequences, different kinds of action. Howie had the dogs and I had the horse training. Chad was like, time to train on a horse. And I was like, yes. The thing I like about him the most is he has a lot of respect for the animals. He learned all the different horses. He rode an American saddlebed, it's actually stallion, and American Morgans. Riding a horse was too easy for Keanu Reeves, so we had him do trick riding. <laughs> so we used trick riding horses. He was able to hang on the side and recover. Legend, Tad Griffin. He had to be comfortable at high rates of speed. Had to be fast. One move had to be into the next move. There couldn't be a lot of downtime getting from one spot to another. I want to, like, come in at speed and then just go, come on! Chad asked Scott and I to come up with different scenarios that a person in a close fight could actually use horses as shields and as weapons, and ultimately as a getaway. We started incorporating kicks and strikes and rares. The one thing that hasn't been seen before would be a horse kicking with both feet at someone. We had to figure out ways to actually make it safe and convenient for a horse to ride through Brooklyn with Keanu Reeves in charge as he's hanging off the side and underneath the horse, shooting bad guys on motorcycles that were trying to pull him off a horse. Everybody feels the need to really bump up the action to set itself apart. The difference being, this is real. The only production foolish enough to try and do a horse chase through New York City. There is a number of shots that I didn't know if we would ever be able to pull that off. The Humane Society said, you cannot have horses running on that kind of a surface. And so we put giant rubber pads down that covered the entire street. There's no street in Bensonhurst that has random rubber mats everywhere. Not even in New York does that happen. We then had to take them out digitally, which actually meant complete CG replacement of the roads. But when you see John Wick doing all the massive fight choreography and the longer takes on the motorcycle on the horse, that's actually Keanu Reeves because that is his talent ability. We push him to his limits and he operates or performs at his limit. Get off the saddle, go sideways, hold on to the neck, and then shoot somebody. And that was uh, next level. The idea was how can I do these tricks and be safe? So Scott developed this idea of a movie truck, some girders, and we'll pick you, and we'll do wire work on a horse. And Chad will sit on the top of this thing on a perch, and he'll guide the horses, and then you'll ride in this contraption. He didn't have to do it a hundred times because he had already perfected it. When they rolled cameras, Keanu nailed it. You can't fake the training. Watching Keanu gallop 22 miles an hour through traffic is pretty extraordinary. 